We are not the same person this year as last, nor are those we love. It is a happy chance if we, changing, continue to love a changed person. Let's go. It is October the 8th, 2018. Originally, when I, when I read this, it was going to lead into some spoken word. Um... I decided that I decided that you know what I'll I'll save this for another night. It's kind of personal and uh, I'm overthinking here a little bit, but nevertheless, I'll save it for another night. I think about change, right? And and how we are constantly evolving, right? We're constantly whether you want to accept it or not. You're, you're changing every day you're changing it's usually a very gradual process but over time it's noticeable I remember when I was in the Air Force and I was I was getting deployed I was going overseas for four months I was on a four-month tour in Saudi Arabia and I remember them having counseling for married couples because they said that one of the toughest challenges they were gonna face was that whether they realize it or not, over a four month period, their spouse was gonna change. And usually it's so gradual when you're around that person that you don't notice it. But when you're gone for four months, boy, it's like anyone, anyone that's got a kid, if they've ever left them, you know, for a week, especially when they're very young, you know, when they're less than a year old and you leave them for a week, few days even sometimes you'll notice it you come back and be like wow I can't believe how much you've grown if you were there you wouldn't notice it but when you're gone you come back it's like wow what happened so we're constantly changing and when you make drastic changes it's even more evident right it's even more noticeable and sometimes when you're making positive changes and you're trying to become a better person and you're trying to do things the right way some people that are in your life, they're not going to want to come along with you. They're going to jump ship. They don't want any part of that. And at times, this may seem like this is something that's very, like, this is, this is bad. This is devastating. This is, man, this is horrible. It could be a friend. It could be a spouse. It could be a family member. But there are going to be people who drop off that don't want any part of that. And it can be a struggle, you know? I think as, as human beings, even though I'm sitting here and I'm talking about change, a lot of times we fight against that change. We don't want that change. It's why you see people stay in, you know, bad relationships because they, they you know, it's comfortable, you know? You gotta get sick and tired. You gotta just get completely uncomfortable in order for you to break out of it. I had to get super uncomfortable in my life to make changes but that was something that I noticed is in my life that, that as I started to change some people dropped off but the amazing thing is is that if you don't focus in on the people that are dropping off but you focus in on the people that are coming into your life that's that's where the magic is because I've had people drop out of my life and you know what it is what it is but the good <laughs> the good far outweighs the bad I only say this and I mention this because at the time it was hard. In that moment, it's difficult. You don't want to hear it. If you're in that moment right now, you don't want to hear it. You're like, yeah, right, dude. But you don't know my situation. You don't know what 10 years or 15 years or 20 or 30 years of a relationship is like or or you don't know, this is my mom or my dad or my sister or my cousin. Or this is my brother or my sister. This is somebody, this is my blood. You don't know what that's like. 
No, I don't know what that's like. Every situation is different, but when you grow and when you're trying to make changes in your life and to become a better person, to do what you got to do to take care of yourself, it's going to naturally push away the people that don't need to be there in your life. Sometimes it's going to hurt, but if you can hang in there, I promise you it is so worth it. Because the people that are going to come into your life, the positivity, the people that are going to reinforce, the people that are going to build you up, the people that are going to support you, the people that are going to finally start giving the energy back to you. Because you know what I'm talking about when you've put out that energy, when you've tried to help other people, when you try to build them up, and it just sucks the energy right out of you. We all know what that's like. We've all had somebody in our life that just, they walk into a room and they just suck the energy right out of you. It's time that you started expecting people to come into your life that brought some of that energy back into your life. Fill you up. Raise that battery meter up. Yeah, I've lost some. I've lost some people in my life. But I've also gained some people that charge my battery up, that make me feel good. Those are the type of people you need to surround yourself with. And those are the type of people that as you change, that as they change, you continue to love each other. You'll find those people and you'll know when you find them because you can be gone for months, years, reconnect. It's like nothing ever changed. Those are the people. That's where you need to put your focus. People that drop as soon as you start to try to make yourself better, you're trying to improve, to become a better person, they were never meant to be there. Sorry. That's about all I got. Again, um, maybe maybe one day I'll uh, I'll get into some of this. You know, I say spoken word, but really it was more like a it was more of a rap. I just wasn't gonna go with a beat. I was gonna go a cappella. Keep moving forward. Trust the process. Yep. But what comes next? I've been studying my whole life, but I feel like I failed that test, and I still feel blessed. But I must confess. I've been stressing over nonsense for far too long. Is this another sad song? <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I gotta stay right. Still shine bright even on a dark night. Focus on my goals and keep it in sight. Internalize the pain cause it's always inside. Who am I kidding? I still kept drowning while you kept swimming. Got left behind but never mind. I'll never stop, I'll always grind. Till my last breath, I still got time. I mentally play back those memories like my favorite sad song. My gosh, where did I go wrong? I don't care. Yeah, that's a lie. I look at my kids and imagine the pain and I can't help but cry and ask myself why should I even try? The pain in my heart only concealed by the thought that I might die as I say goodbye. I did this acapella. I'm a little emotional, not your average fella, but still bright, not quite Stella. Got your mind spinning like an impella. I really didn't want to do that tonight. I really didn't. But for some reason, I decided, you know what? Who cares? Who cares? Anyways, I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I always trust the process. And I will talk to y'all later. That was horrible. But I'm going to leave it on here anyways. I'm out.